The Pleistocene Epoch, a time of many ice ages, saw the rise of our species, Homo sapiens. This period was marked by dramatic climatic changes that shaped the environment and the lives of early humans. As glaciers advanced and retreated, our ancestors had to adapt to survive in a world that was constantly changing. This epoch, from 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago, saw early humans deal with tough weather, move across continents, and develop smarter ways of living. They migrated in search of food, shelter, and more hospitable climates, often traveling vast distances and facing numerous challenges along the way. These included better toolmaking, using fire, and developing symbolic expression, the things that make us human. The creation of tools allowed them to hunt more effectively and process food, while the control of fire provided warmth, protection, and a means to cook. Symbolic expression seen in cave paintings and carvings indicates the development of complex thought and communication. South Africa, with its many archaeological sites, offers a special look into this important time in human evolution. These sites are treasure troves of information, revealing how early humans lived, interacted and evolved over thousands of years. These sites, spread across the land, hold clues to how our ancestors lived, adapted and thrived. Each artifact uncovered tells a story of survival, ingenuity and adaptation, providing a window into the daily lives of our distant relatives. They give us a peek into the minds of early humans, showing their creativity, toughness and ability to innovate. From the construction of primitive shelters to the creation of art, these early humans demonstrated remarkable resilience and resourcefulness. By studying these sites, we uncover our own story, tracing our origins and the rise of what makes us uniquely human. The meticulous work of archaeologists and researchers helps piece together the puzzle of our past, revealing the journey of our species from its earliest days. South Africa's Pleistocene sites tell an amazing story of human ingenuity and adaptation. These reconstructions bring to life the ways in which early humans adapted to their environment, showcasing their ability to innovate and thrive in the face of adversity. It's a story written in stone, bone and old fireplaces, whispering of a time when humans took their first steps towards modern behavior. These remnants of the past provide a tangible connection to our ancestors, allowing us to understand their lives and the challenges they faced. These whispers, pieced together by archaeologists and researchers, give us deep insights into our shared human past. Through their dedicated efforts, we continue to learn more about the dawn of our species and the remarkable journey that has led us to where we are today. South Africa, with its varied environments and rich geological history, is a treasure chest for archaeologists studying the Pleistocene. This period, which lasted from about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago, was a time of significant climatic changes and the evolution of early humans. The diverse landscapes of South Africa, from its rugged mountains to expansive deserts and lush forests, have preserved a wealth of archaeological sites that offer a window into this ancient past. The country has many caves, rock shelters, and open-air sites that have given us lots of artifacts and fossils, providing valuable insights into early human life. These sites have yielded stone tools, animal bones, and even remnants of ancient hearths, painting a vivid picture of how our ancestors lived, hunted, and interacted with their environment. Among these sites, a few are really special because they are so well-preserved and tell amazing stories. These exceptional sites have remained largely untouched by the ravages of time, allowing archaeologists to uncover layers of history that reveal the daily lives, survival strategies, and even the social structures of early human communities. Sites like Deep Kloof Rock Shelter, Pinnacle Point, which are located along the scenic coastline, have provided crucial evidence of early human innovation and adaptation to changing environments. Sibhudu Cave, Border Cave, nestled in the verdant landscapes, have revealed intricate details about the technological advancements and cultural practices of early humans. And Classy's river caves are famous for groundbreaking discoveries that have changed our understanding of human evolution. These caves have provided some of the earliest evidence of modern human behavior, including the use of complex tools and symbolic thought. Each site offers a unique piece of the puzzle, showing us different parts of early human life, 
from toolmaking and finding food to social groups and symbolic expression. The artifacts and fossils found at these sites help us piece together the story of human evolution, revealing how our ancestors adapted to their surroundings and developed new technologies and cultural practices. These sites, spread across South Africa, represent different environments and time periods within the Pleistocene. Each site provides a snapshot of a particular moment in time, offering insights into the climatic conditions, flora and fauna, and human activities of that era. They help us understand the different experiences of early humans and what influenced their culture and technology. By examining the artifacts and fossils from these sites, archaeologists can trace the development of human societies and the ways in which they adapted to their changing environments. By studying these sites together, archaeologists can build a better picture of early human life during the Pleistocene. This comprehensive approach allows us to see the broader patterns of human evolution and migration, providing a deeper understanding of our shared history and the roots of modern human behavior. Deep Kloof Rock Shelter near the southern coast shows the growing mental abilities of early humans. Here in the layers of dirt, archaeologists have found artifacts that show abstract thought and symbolic behavior not seen before. Among the most important finds at Deep Kloof are engraved ostrich eggshells, about 60,000 years old. These eggshells, decorated with abstract patterns and designs, are some of the earliest examples of symbolic expression. They suggest that early humans at Deep Kloof could think about and create abstract representations of the world, a key part of modern human thinking. The patterns on these fragile shells hint at a complex way of communicating, and maybe even a shared cultural identity. These sophisticated symbolic artifacts at Deep Kloof suggest that abstract thought and symbolic representation appeared much earlier than we thought. It challenges old ideas about the cognitive abilities of early humans and provides strong evidence for the deep roots of human creativity. Pinnacle Point, a group of caves and rock shelters overlooking the Indian Ocean, tells a story of human adaptation to coastal environments. This site is not just a collection of ancient dwellings, it is a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of early humans who lived here thousands of years ago. The site shows evidence of early humans using ocean resources, showing their ability to not only survive but thrive in tough coastal settings. These early settlers were not merely scraping by, they were developing sophisticated methods to exploit the rich marine environment around them. Evidence suggests that early humans at Pinnacle Point were collecting shellfish, fishing, and maybe even hunting marine mammals as early as 164,000 years ago. This indicates a deep understanding of the coastal ecosystem and the ability to adapt their hunting and gathering techniques to the resources available. This mastery of coastal resources gave early humans a new and plentiful food source, allowing them to spread out and live in new areas. The ability to exploit marine resources likely played a crucial role in the migration and expansion of human populations. The use of marine resources at Pinnacle Point represents a big change in human food strategies and highlights how adaptable our species is. This shift not only provided a reliable food source, but also influenced social structures and community living. Besides their clever use of the ocean, the people of Pinnacle Point also left evidence of symbolic behavior. This suggests that they were not only focused on survival, but also on cultural and social expression. Archaeologists have found pieces of ochre at the site, some with markings on purpose. These markings could represent some of the earliest forms of symbolic thought and communication. Ochre, a natural pigment, was often used by early humans for many things, including body decoration and art. This use of ochre indicates a level of cognitive development and creativity that is a hallmark of modern human behavior. Mastering fire was a huge moment in human history. It wasn't just about cooking food, it was about warmth, safety, and even social bonding. Imagine sitting around a fire, telling stories, and feeling a sense of community. This simple but important discovery was a big step towards what we now call home. It gave early humans a place to gather, to feel safe, and to thrive. Fire in many ways became the heart of the home, starting not just flames, 
but the very idea of what it means to be human. Early humans were incredibly resourceful. They made tools from stone, bone and wood, which were essential for their survival. These tools weren't just simple, they were quite advanced for their time. From hand axes to blades, each tool had a specific job. These innovations were a big leap in human ingenuity. The Stone Age wasn't just about survival. It was also a time of expression and creativity. Early humans decorated themselves with beads and other ornaments, showing a sense of identity and community. They also created amazing cave paintings and carvings, which still impress us today. These artistic works reveal complex, symbolic thinking and a desire to communicate and record their experiences. Let's look at the social structure of early human communities. These groups weren't just random bunches of people, they had complex social structures. Cooperation and sharing were important for their survival. They had rituals, shared knowledge, and probably even storytelling. This social connection helped them thrive in a difficult environment. Even with all we know, many questions remain. How did these early humans develop such advanced thinking? What made them create art and complex tools? Future discoveries will hopefully give us more answers. As we continue to find clues from the past, each new find helps us understand the full story of our ancestors.